Hey yo, what is up YouTube? Isaac or Miner Bro, back today bringing you another banger story time. And in today's story, I'm going to be telling you about the time I actually was dumb enough to buy laced weed. So yeah, if you do enjoy this story and you are new around here, please do subscribe. Turn the bell notification on for daily story times. And yeah, oh, you will have a fantastic story time video from me. <laughs> that didn't even make sense. I hope you will have a fantastic day. I hope you enjoy this story. And yeah, let's get straight into it. And I hope you enjoy. <laughs> Okay guys, so this story time actually took place back when I was around 14 years old and thinking back of it now, I kind of think this was just cold headed dropped on me. Like, I actually think me buying this was karma from the time that I sold someone grass as weed. So yeah, I, I kind of think it's just amazing how karma goes around. What, what comes around goes around. You, you know you know that term, you may have heard it from your parents, your dad, some homeless man on the street. I don't know, but you may have heard it. So what happened is this took place back when I was 14 years old, so quite a while ago now and my friend had this dealer that i wanted to hit up because i wanted to buy some like decent ass stuff off him some decent gear and my friend was going to me oh i have this one friend he sells some decent stuff do you want me to basically give you his number like my friend was going to give me his number and i was like yeah bro give me his number like i want to see what stuff he has and i want to try some of his stuff out because i never have bought from him before but my friend had so i kind of trusted my friend you know he was one of my like best friends at the time but you'll know him as the snaked guy like the guy who snaked me and i've mentioned this in previous stories but if you're keeping up with my story times you'll know that this guy snaked me a whole bunch of times he'll snake me just any sort of time you know he's he's the guy who snaked me and i know that bit just didn't make sense but yeah he's the guy who snaked me so my friend gives me his number everything's cool it's on a weekend but it's, it's not the weekend it's a friday but to us Friday was a weekend, you know, because it's the last day of school. It, it counts as a weekend because on the night, you can stay up late and wake up late. <laughs> you you kind of get what I mean. So what happens is my friend gives me his number in school. And basically, I'm texting the guy throughout the day over just on text because he has one of them little brick phones. So he obviously doesn't have Snapchat and stuff. And he doesn't want his number to be traced by cops, feds, them pigs you know so what happens is i'm texting him throughout the day of school and i basically say could you meet me uh by like this little narrow road you'll probably know uh this as we progress into more story times it's basically uh, a little wood next to me which i've done story times on previously it's really scary i actually got chased out there once by devil worshippers and yeah my friend actually saw a woman in there in a little hut with no tongue so yeah you, i'll probably get onto them story times sometime in the future but anyways i said to him could you meet up there around six and six then was dark night so what happens is i finish school i go home i meet up with my friend and my friend doesn't come with me because he has to go out to his brother's like music concert or something like that he had uh, a brother who would do like music class and apparently he had to take him and whatnot on this day so it comes to around half five i message the guy i'm saying i'm walking now because this is this isn't really far from my house but before i wanted to go to the chip shop get some like chips and just some roll or some or some sausage and then eat that whilst i'm actually walking to the guy to meet him so i go to the chip shop i order the food and i'm literally just walking to the guy and i get up to the guy i approach him and he looks like a really safe guy he's, he's a lot older than i expected he was around i'd say around 19 20 so yeah he was he was getting on a bit you know and a 14 year old well 20 year old selling something to a 14 year old it's, it's a bit weird ain't it you know and yeah but i guess that's just how he makes his money from younger kids if you get what i mean you know <laughs> no i'm joking so what happens is i go up to the guy and i safe him up i'm like yo what's your name and let's just make up a name oh my name is brad like how much do you want and i basically told him this over the phone so i don't know why he was double asking me but i said oh i just want to i just want a five it's just for me and he was like oh okay and he pulls out this little baggie i kind of like don't look at it because he was just giving it me in my hand i give him the five and he was like oh just mate put that in your pocket put that in your bag or somewhere and i'm like oh, okay okay and me being stupid i kind of look at it and he's like just put it away put it away like you know this area is kind of posh because the area where we was doing it like near the end of the opposite side of the wood it was kind of like a, a well um neighborhood watch area and kind of a posh area so i just looked at it quickly put it in my pocket and thought nothing of it you know so i get back home and my mom didn't come back on this day till around 10 because she was doing like half shift nights and yeah she would get back home around 11 but her work like when she would finish is 10 
So I'd have enough time to literally just smoke this, maybe at my bedroom window, which I didn't. I smoked it in my shed, which you'll probably have saw videos of me in the shed previously doing hot boxes, etc. So what happens is I get back home and I'm trying to roll this. Uh, I eventually find out how to roll. I roll it up and I go into the shed and I'm literally just on my phone watching some like videos, like you know them hot box videos of people like smoking joints and stuff. And I was just chilling, watching a hot box video whilst I'm smoking this, and I don't get no sort of high at all like i literally wait an hour like and after i don't feel anything different i swear this guy must have put some grass or he, he, it was probably grass you know and karma just came around and hit me but i don't get high at all literally and in the bottom of the bag i can kind of see a powder when i was rolling this and it kind of made me suspicious but after an hour i don't feel high like i don't feel high whatsoever i go in my house i check my eyes i don't look high and when i was smoking it as well it didn't really smell like a weed the guy said it was cheese with cheese it can be good you know like i know a lot of people down it but if you get some good cheese like you you, you know what i mean like americans love cheese yeah uh, i've heard but yeah i just wasn't getting anything from this the only bad thing i was getting was just some headache and just some really really strong emotions towards the guy just lacing me you know because he could have put anything in there he could have not put weed i don't know but i knew it was laced as soon as i wasn't feeling high and i waited Two hours, nothing. Three hours, nothing. And what happened is, the next day, I messaged my friend. I was like, bro, that guy is a shady ass looking mark. That guy is a dick. He lies, man. And my, guy, my bro was like, what do you mean? And I was like, well, the weed that I bought off him, it didn't even get me high. And I know it's only a five, but it, 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 it's, it's not the point. It's the morals. It's the principles. If he wants new customers, he can't be fobbing them off like this. And my friend was like, I'll have a word. With you. I'm like... What do you mean you're gonna have a word with a 19 year old, 20 year old bloke? Like what? And he's like, oh, I just, just don't mind, just leave it. So two days later, right, my friend hits me up and he's like, bro, come meet us in woods. So we're going to the woods, kind of like skeptical and like kind of scared because I don't know why would my friend be like, who literally lives five min, five seconds, not even five minutes, five seconds away from me. Why would he be like meet in the woods? But I met him there anyway, and over by the log that we would normally chill at is the guy who laced and basically ripped me off right so i walk up to him and i'm like just dreading this because i don't know what's gonna happen anything could happen at this point and the guy holds his hand out and he's like here bro i'm sorry i was just joking with you here's your actual and he just drops this baggie but this time it was a 10 and he was like yeah i did lace you but you, you know like you, your friend told me you're cool and stuff so I, and i just felt bad you know so here's a 10 like just out of me just disrespecting you that way and i was like oh okay okay in my head i was thinking i want to punch you in the f i want to smash your brain i want to go full on ham but no i didn't i kept my call because obviously he gave me a 10 extra and i was like what did you put in that and he was like oh i put some um paracetamol and i'm like what and some like um you know them origami herbs and i was like no i don't want to hear it just stop just stop and he was like yeah i was just like i was just skeptical of you you know and like you know it was new customers you kind of like mess around with him and i was like oh okay and you know what i did with the 10 that he gave me when i went home after like meeting him and basically just sitting there whilst they smoke i got that 10 and i just threw it down the drain like the drain outside my house as i'm walking up to my house i just put it down there because i don't know what that guy was going to give me but yeah i never really spoke to the guy anymore i spoke to my friend obviously but yeah i was kind of more skeptical and just aware of my friend that he was hanging around with shady guys after this and i didn't really trust him as much but anyways that was the story it was kind of a wild one if you enjoyed please do leave a like if you're new to my channel subscribe turn the bell notification on i'll see you in the next video for a banger peace peace peace